Hey guys, it's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. I am here today to do my um, October, no, November, it's still October right now, my November installment for the Geeks and Beauties one month, one Sailor Senshi makeup collab that we're doing. So some ladies are doing panning products, doing like a five pan, some ladies are doing nail tutorials, and I am doing makeup because I don't have any skill with nails and I really couldn't bring in another panning project because I already had so many committed to. So the Sailor for November is Sailor Saturn, which is purple and black, which I'll insert a picture. And so I have lots of stuff to play with. I'm very excited. So let me just show you what I got. Okay. So specifically, I really want to use this ColourPop single in Prowlin. It's like a really pretty purple, and I think I'm going to use it as an inner corner highlight, so that's going to go off to the side for later use. And let me put my phone on the ground so it's out of the way. So, this is my stack of palettes. So, I say I pulled that ColourPop single from the ColourPop Z palette in the background, but my shadow box, there's like this purple and this purple, which is coming up more blue on camera, but it's purple, I swear. Um, there's a couple purples in the Electric palette from Urban Decay. These two, um, this one, Urban is also purple. It's just really coming up blue in camera. That's fine. Um, my Beige Galaxy Chic Palette has two purples over here um, that are really pretty too. I love this palette. It is, in my opinion, so good. Um, it's such, it's, but it's all shimmer, so if you don't like that, don't buy it. But, like, it's so nice. Um, the Masquerade Mini from Juvia's Place has a couple purples that I'm like leaning towards. So there's a matte in Zobo that's kind of like pinky. And then this one is a shimmer in Makeda. Makeda. Again, it kind of shifts blue because of the camera, so just ignore it. Um, there's a matte purple in the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place that I'm probably going to use. And then in my Aurora palette by Anastasia, there is a purple... Um, highlight in Spectra right there that's got like a gray shift which is interesting so I have that also um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet but I first need to fix my makeup like on my face because I was wearing blue makeup today which I can insert a photo of if you care if not just you know ignore it um, but I had to take it off to do this video and now I need to adjust around my eyes and around my lips and make them a normal color again so let me just do that and we'll be right back okay bye I changed the setting to portrait mode did that help at all no not really because this is showing up blue okay whatever we're just gonna go with it so I set my eyes really quickly let me um got some barrachas here so I'm going to go in with that matte purple. I'm going to use the more pinky one from the Masquerade Mini. This is in Zobo as like a transition shade. Um, just briefly to give it some claw. Maybe I can zoom you in. Boop, 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 boop. And then I shall position my body. There we go. Okay, so I'm just obviously layering that on. Why did that make it so much darker in here? Like, getting closer to me doesn't mean you lose um, the light camera. You're a turd. Fuck, I don't know. All right, so then I'm going to go into the Zulu palette, and I am going to use the matte purple right there. And, um... Just kind of go across the water. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a more concentrated brush, which is dirty. Don't mind that. Don't look at that. Normally, you would have washed your makeup brushes before you did a makeup tutorial, but hey, this is my channel. So I'm going to take that just on a smaller brush and put it a little bit in the outer V and then into my crease. And 
and I'm not gonna lie this look is gonna be primarily purple I'm not really gonna do a ton of black um, just because I already did my December of this because I just was felt inspired by the colors the other day and um, it's a very black so this one is gonna be less black more purple and we're just gonna you know we're just gonna go with it okay so we're gonna blend that into the pink so we don't be looking crazy now that I'm gonna go anywhere after this actually that's not true I have to go to the gym today should I wear this look to the gym what do you think I've done that before actually I've like taken my face makeup off and just left my eye makeup and worn it to the gym because I like to show all those big men what they're up against. Do you see this blend? Just because I can't lift 500 pounds, I can still blend eyeshadow. Alright, so, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to take Jilted from the Urban Decay. Oh, oh. Oh, was one? From the Urban Decay Electric Palette. And I'm just going to put it with my finger on like the back half of my lid yeah queen this is such a pretty color like oh my god why I do really like the electric palette I know that they discontinued it I believe um but you can actually still get it on a whole look sometimes like when urban decay comes on that website I'll link that website down below if you don't know what I'm talking about Okay, and then I think what I'm going to do, because I feel like I have so many purple things to work with, is I'm going to take Cosmic and maybe Milky Way also. I might just do both because, you know what, this is my tutorial and I can do whatever I want. Um, and I'm actually going to put both of those on my, like, inner half of my lid. But I'm going to use this ColourPop shadow in Sunbeam. This is from the My Little Pony Hello, or My Little Pony ColourPop collection, um, and I'm just going to use this as a little bit of a base because it will help them stick. And I'm going to like pre-blend that with my finger into Jilted. Um, dude, honestly, like this alone is a freaking look. Maybe I'll just leave it. No, I won't. That's not true. This shadow, though, honestly, it's mostly glitter, like as you can kind of see. But it looks really good over almost everything. So. Also, I'm pretty sure Jilted's going to stain my eyelid. Which I'm not looking forward to. But it's fine. I'll just wear blue eyeshadow again tomorrow. No one will even know. So I think I'm going to take Milky Way. Because it's a little bit lighter. And put that down first. And then I might go back in with Cosmic. Shit girl, they're so pretty. Okay. Alright, I did just crazy, crazily throw Cosmic in there too. Because I wanted to. Oh, okay. I am going to take my crease brush without anything on it. And I'm just going to kind of run it through my crease to kind of blend everything and sheer out the glitter at the top just a little and then I'm going to take that big fluffy brush again and just kind of run it around the edges and kind of like blow out the pink a little make it a little bit more dramatic and then for the final situation Okay, so I'm going to take the two matte shades we used and I'm going to put them in my like lower lash line. So I'm going to take the purple closest to my lash line which with this like really thin brush. Do 
you ever do things like that and like not trust yourself? Because like I'd never trust myself when I do stuff like this. Okay. And then I'm going to take a little bit of a fluffier brush and I'm going to like blow that purple out but with the same pink that we used up top um, just to kind of like bring it down into the bottom lash line too. So we can be super cute. Okay, looks like a little bit I got a black eye, but that's okay. Okay, so I am now going to take that prowlin shade and like a little paper tins, little pencil brush. Um, I'm going to put it in my inner corner, but I'm actually going to line my eyes first. And I think I'm going to put on some lashes. So I'm going to pause the filming, do that, and then come back. That's where we are with the lashes on. Looking kind of spoopy. I did do a black waterline just because I thought that would make it look better and like more to the color scheme. Apparently I didn't fill in my eyebrows all the way this morning. That's fine. Who cares? You ever just don't do your eyebrows before you go to work? Like I did my eyebrows. I just didn't do them well. Anyway, I digress. So I'm going to jump into my face really quick. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush in a Purple Haze is what it's called. And I love this blush. I think it's so pretty. Hold on, let me get a brush. Gives me that nice dead feel, which I did. And then for a highlighter, I am going to be using my, the My Little Pony um, ColourPop collab also. And this is in, what? Twinkle or Trickles. Yep. Cool. What a weird name. And um, I have to keep it in the box because it doesn't say the name on the container. It just says pressed highlight. Cool, bro. So I'm going to take my big fluffy highlighter brush. Ruin the imprint some more. And add some more fix. Nobody knows. Um, and then for lips, I think what I'm going to do is I either have a bullet lipstick or a liquid lipstick. And they're both about the same color purple. So I think I'm going to use the my Wet n Wild Mega Last. This is in Vamp It Up. I freaking love this lip color. Like, it looks black right now, but it's actually purple. And honestly, this is so opaque and it's not really patchy at all. And these are like the ones that are like $1.99. That's not my thing. Okay, so that's going to complete my November spooktacular um, geeks and beauties look. So let me take some photos for the thumbnail. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Definitely go check out everybody else in the description box as well as the Facebook group will be listed down there. I love you guys so, so much and I'm sorry that it kept getting darker and darker. The clouds are going over the sun and I love you like I already said and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye everyone.